You wanna live on the water. What do you need to know about flood zones? And first of all, you need to know about flood zones. So when you're looking for property and you're on the water, just because there's water doesn't mean that you will be in a flood zone. What you wanna know are the codes. There are X, the basic ones are X, X100, X500, and AE. If you're in an X zone, the chance of flooding is very small. X means no flooding. X100 means a 1% chance in a year, maybe. And X500, 2% chance in a year, maybe. Um, the AE, that's the flood zone, or a V if you're on the coast. Um, those are the flood zones that generally mean you have a high chance of flooding. And those are the ones that require flood insurance. So if you're in the X's, you don't even need to worry about flood insurance. A, E, or V, all those will require flood insurance. And if you pay cash, obviously you don't have to have flood insurance, but that's where it would be recommended that you absolutely do have flood insurance. One important thing to talk about is if it's a condominium, as a general rule, the condo association carries the flood insurance for you. You would need content insurance and that content insurance would probably vary in price based on which floor the condo's in. So if you're looking at rental properties and you're looking at an investment property, being in an AE flood zone wouldn't be as bad because the condo association is going to carry that. You do still run the risk, but let's be real. Location, location, location. Water's always been, you know, an outstanding uh, investment as far as equity and return on your investment and all that. But if hurricanes freak you out and flooding freaks you out, then an AE flood zone is something you'll want to um, avoid.